everyone, welcome to the 27 tutorial to beginner's guide on how to revit. So, in this tutorial, we will cover view range. Now, every plan or layout has a property called the view range. It's the set of horizontal planes that control the visibility display of objects within the plan or layout view. Here is an example of the view range, an image I will be showing you. I know this may look complicated, but of course, I'll be teaching mostly what is needed for everyone to know and it's going to be very simple. To start off, go to ground floor view, then make a section here and cut it using window tile. Now, if you got this view here, two windows, one ground floor, one section view like this, go to properties palette over here until extends right there. And here's the view range or simply use the shortcut key. Okay, here it is. Now, remember the image I showed you before? You can also see it right here, which is this one. You can also click the hyperlink here and it will lead you to an Autodesk help. So let's close this for now. I need to change to 2300 first. Okay, look at the section view. There's a green region here. That's our focused view or rather portrait view of the view range. All right, let's start. Now, looking at the top view, you see here, the value is 2300. And as seen here in the section, let me close this one. You will notice that we have a reference plane here that I use as an example. You can use a line, a detail line or a model line, whatever you want. But I just want to show you that the limit here is 2300. Now, again, going back here, the top constraint or rather the top view range limit is 2300. So focusing here on the ground floor, that window, if I were to move this up, it should disappear since it will be out of the view range limit. So let's do that. If I put it until here, it should be gone in the ground floor plan view, like so. Now, next, here, we've got a wall here, right? Which is this one. If I were to zoom in here, you will notice that it has a cut view region. Let me go back here and click it to just to show you in the material. Here, this one. So it has a cut pattern graphic. Sorry, I said region. Anyway, it has a cut pattern graphic, which is this one, the brickwork as you see in here. So if I click OK here and do nothing, if I were to bring this down lower than the 2300, this line should just disappear because it's, it's no longer being cut. So let's give it a try. And if I were to pull this here and refresh, you'll see that it's gone. Now, the reason for that is because it's already way below the cut plane, which is shown here as what we have in the image. Now, what you really got to know is you don't really have to change the top range. Leave it as is because it's, all, it's always automatic. The only thing you got to play around is either the cut plane and the bottom and the level. Now, the bottom and the level should always be the same value so that you don't really have to complicate yourself with that. Next, if I were to make this to zero, you will notice that everything here will be gone. The wall, the finish, even our interior tiling or rather our interior flooring, if I press apply, and it's gone. You will only see the slab. Why? Let's go back to the section here. I will change this to fine and to consistent color. Let's remove this region that we made here. Now you will notice that this finished flooring is above zero from our ground floor level and the slab is below zero. So going back here, we've only set our cut plane to zero, right? Now, give me a second. Let's see the thickness of this finish. It's only 50. Let's increase that to 50 and let's see if the if our finished floor will appear and it should appear. There it is, along with the wall. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. For questions, suggestions, 
please do comment below and if you like or even find this tutorial helpful you can support me by liking and subscribing i'll see you in the next video thank you very much guys Thank <laughs> you.